Jungkook strides into his company building with wide steps. At a relatively young age, Jungkook managed to become the CEO of a renowned telecommunications company in Korea. Jungkook's journey hasn't been easy. He faced many challenges in building this company, but his intelligence and perseverance eventually paid off. What's on my schedule today? Jungkook asks his secretary, Yin. Yin struggles to keep up with his pace. Her small steps certainly don't match his long strides. At 8, there's an internal meeting with the marketing department. At 11, you have an external meeting with an advertising agency. At 2, a meeting with the finance department and you also need to review some documents that came in today. Yin speaks quickly. As they walk, employees lower their heads in respect, greeted by Jungkook's thin smile. Where is the meeting with the advertising agency? Jungkook steps into the elevator and presses the button for the 30th floor, his exclusive floor. At La Octa Restaurant, sir. Jungkook's response is a sigh. He's not particularly fond of French restaurants. Can it be moved somewhere else? You know I don't like French cuisine. For some reason, his palate doesn't agree with French food. He can feel queasy if he attempts to eat it. I apologize, sir. Mr. Jungwo is a fan of French cuisine and he insists on holding the meeting there. If you don't want to go, I can negotiate with Mr. Jungwo. No need. It's fine. Jungkook enters his office and Yin prepares at her desk. Yin stared blankly at the pile of files on her desk. Looks like another overtime tonight. She sighed heavily, slumped into her chair, and began preparing the meeting materials for her boss. About an hour later, Yin received a phone call from Jungkook. Are you ready? Let's go now. Yes, sir. It was almost 11 o'clock, and they had to hurry if they didn't want to be late. Good afternoon, Mr. Jungwo. I apologize for the delay. The traffic was quite heavy. Jungkook shook hands with Jungwo and his secretary, followed by Yin, who smiled politely. No problem at all. We haven't been waiting long. Jungwo returned the handshake warmly. They didn't discuss it for too long. An agreement had been reached between the two companies. I didn't expect today's meeting to go so smoothly. I thought you were a stiff person. It seemed like Jungwo had a good sense of humor. No, everything went smoothly because we both benefited from it. No beating around the bush. Jungkook responded with a thin smile. Yin rolled her eyes. Couldn't her boss smile wider? What a fridge. Oh, aren't you ordering any food? Jungwo noticed no food in front of Jungkook, raising his eyebrows. No, just drinks for me. I'm not very hungry yet. Jungkook raised his glass and drank casually. Once again, Yin rolled her eyes at his response. Not very hungry? Just wait until after this. He'll definitely ask me out for a meal. Oh, what a pity. The food here is delicious. Jungwo explained with a twinkle in his eye, looking at his food. Look, even your secretary is eating eagerly. Jungkook glanced at Yin, making Yin choke slightly. For Yin, it didn't matter where to eat, as long as it was free. That's true, sir. The food here is very delicious. Jungkook snorted. His secretary was crazy about food. Indeed. By the way, what's your name, miss? You seem very young. My name is Park Yin, sir. I graduated from college just two years ago and immediately started working at Mr. Jian Jungkook's company. You must be very talented to become the secretary of such a big CEO at such a young age. Do you have a boyfriend? The sudden question startled Yin. What was going on? Not yet. I'm still single. Oh really? What a coincidence. How about my secretary then? It seems he's interested in you. Jungwo smirked teasingly at his secretary, making the secretary look down after being caught sneaking glances at her. Meanwhile, Yin just smiled awkwardly, glancing at Jungkook who had been silent the whole time. What kind of conversation is this? Well then, Mr. Jungwo, I'll take my leave now. Thank you for your cooperation. See you later. Jungkook bid farewell, followed by Yin who bowed politely. Yin. Find a Korean restaurant nearby. I already expected that. All right, sir. Yin began searching using her phone, until a few seconds later. Take a left at the intersection, sir. There's a highly rated Korean restaurant nearby. Jungkook turned his car without saying a word. They didn't use a chauffeur. Jungkook preferred to drive himself. They only used a chauffeur when traveling out of town. Jungkook ate heartily, while Yin, who had already eaten earlier, only ordered drinks and snacks. Luckily, having a loyal boss, she could enjoy expensive food without spending money. I need the files I sent to you earlier to be completed today. But sir, isn't the deadline still one week away? Yes, but I want those files to be done quickly so we can move on to other tasks. Jungkook said calmly, still engrossed in his meal, not caring that Yin in front of him looked displeased. What about the other files that are piling up? Is there a problem? Are you objecting? Jungkook asked after receiving no response from Yin. No sir, I'll take care of it later. Yin forced a smile, 
feeling the urge to scratch the handsome face of her boss. Good, so just work on it later then. Today Yin arrived at her apartment at 10 p.m., her body felt exhausted. She wanted to soak in warm water and rest. Lately, Jungkook had been adding a lot of work to her plate, forcing her to work overtime. Her phone rang and she answered the call as she prepared to sit down. Yes, Yuju? Yin, are you about to sleep? Yes, I am. I'm very tired today. Did you just get home, working overtime again? Yes, that's right. My handsome boss wanted all the work done today. Yuju was Yin's friend, working in marketing at a paper company in Korea. They had been friends since college, and they still often exchange news. You need to rest more Yin, don't get sick. Lately, you've been coming home late often. That was Yuju, very attentive to Yin. She knew Yin lived alone in this big city. Yin's family lived in the village. Yes, I want that too. But my boss often gives me sudden tasks that make me come home late. Huh, he's really annoying. But he's also very handsome, right? Yes. He's handsome but still single. Who knows? Maybe you'll be his girlfriend later. Oh Yuju, don't joke. Why would he want someone like me? He and I are like heaven and earth. His taste must be very high too. Wow, so my friend actually hopes to become the girlfriend of the handsome CEO? Yuju teased Yin even more, guessing it was because whenever they met, Yin often talked about her handsome CEO with a radiant face. And indeed, Yin was already in love with Jungkook. She was just self-aware of their difference in status. Let's not talk about him anymore. I want to sleep, Yuju. Tomorrow, I have to be ready to battle with the piled up work again. Okay, okay. Yuju chuckled before the call ended. The atmosphere on the 30th floor was always calm. Of course, because there were only Jungkook's and Yin's rooms here. Jungkook liked the tranquility. He didn't like working with a lot of noisy sounds around. Yin, clear my schedule for this afternoon. I'm sorry sir, but this afternoon, there's a meeting with Mr. Minho, one of the big communication companies. He only has time this afternoon before flying to Australia. It's okay, we can postpone it until he returns from Australia. But sir, isn't this project supposed to be implemented soon? Yin tried to negotiate. Jungkook stared at Yin sharply, making her look down. Are you questioning me? I have personally contacted him and he's okay with it. Your task is just to inform the company formally so that all administrative matters are clear. Yes sir. Yin still looked down, feeling bold in front of her boss. Oh, and this afternoon, accompany me to the mall. I want to buy a birthday gift for my mother. Instantly, Yin raised her face. She was truly surprised by her boss's request this time. Huh? Why me sir? Because you're a woman, I don't know what women like. That's why I'm taking you. Yes sir. Once again, Yin just complied. On one hand, she felt happy to be involved in his personal affairs. On the other hand, she was also afraid to refuse because her position could be at stake. Yin and Jungkook arrived at one of the large malls in Korea. Yin, already tired, simply followed wherever Jungkook walked. Unlike Yin, it seemed her handsome boss took the time to freshen up in his private room. This was evident from his suit, which had now been replaced with casual clothing, and his refreshed appearance. Yin rarely saw Jungkook dressed casually like this. He looked younger and even more handsome. Yin's heart raced faster. Now they entered one of the expensive women's fashion stores. You pick, I'll wait here. Yin squinted her eyes, starting to browse through the options. How could he ask me to find a gift while he comfortably sits and plays on his phone? Whose birthday is it anyway? His mother's or mine? How about this one? Yin held up a beautiful branded bag. No, that's too youthful. Choose something not too flashy in both color and design. Yin pouted. To her, this bag was very beautiful. She would surely be very happy if given this bag. Several times Yin showed her chosen bags and Jungkook rejected them for various reasons. This is the last one. Yin showed an elegant bag to him. Her face looked very tired. Jungkook was really doing her work. Okay, I'll pay for it. Yin sighed with relief. Finally. You wait here. After this, we'll eat. Jungkook's words made her eyes sparkle with joy. Her stomach was indeed begging to be filled, and she knew her boss would take her to a fancy and delicious restaurant, according to his taste. Well, at least I get to eat for free and enjoy it. On one day, since early in the morning, Yin had been feeling off. Her head was pounding and her body felt weak, but Yin insisted on going to work because she remembered the pile of tasks awaiting her. Throughout the day at the office, Yin found it difficult to concentrate. Indeed, her headache only worsened. Her body temperature rose. Come in. Yin entered slowly. What's up? Jungkook said without looking at Yin, still busy staring at his laptop screen. I'd like to request to leave early sir. I'm not feeling well. Jungkook looked up, 
his eyes sharp as they focused on hers. Are you trying to deceive me too? Just a while ago, several people requested sick leave, but as soon as they left, I received reports that they were laughing and joking at me because they weren't actually sick and just wanted to go out. Tomorrow, I'll fire all of them, but I really am not feeling well sir. I'm not lying. Fine, but if you're lying, I'll fire you too. Jungkook's words hurt Yin deeply. Why did her boss jump to such conclusions? Yin left with a heavy heart. She couldn't take it anymore. When she was sick, Yin became very sensitive. So Jungkook's outburst truly wounded her. All this time, she had followed everything her boss said, doing a lot of work without complaining. And just because she asked to leave early, her boss immediately accused her of lying? He doesn't trust me. How could he accuse me of lying to him and threaten to fire me? I just want to resign. Yin started to sob. She wrote a resignation letter and placed it on his desk. She didn't bid farewell to him. Her heart was already wounded when Jungkook accused her of lying. She decided to let go of the considerable compensation money. She could find another job later. Yin walked slowly towards the parking lot, her body feeling weak. She couldn't go home on her own. Hello, Yuju, have you already gone home? Could you pick me up? Yuju arrived and instructed Yin to get into her car. You're lucky I was around here earlier. I've quit from this company. What? Then Yin told Yuju everything. She held back tears that threatened to overflow. Yin didn't actually want to quit her job. She had been comfortable working with Jungkook for two years. But lately, the usually good Jungkook had become work crazy because he wanted to expand his company overseas which resulted in Yin having to work extra hard too. Yin was exhausted, of course. Her body wasn't strong, and Jungkook's words earlier had struck a nerve. All right. Just rest. Don't worry about work problems. The important thing is for you to recover first. Let me know if anything comes up. I'll go back to work. Bye Yin. Bye Yuju. Thank you for taking me home. Jungkook was shocked to the core when he saw the resignation letter on Yin's desk. Instantly, he regretted yelling at and accusing Yin of lying earlier. Jungkook had been deceived several times by a group of his employees before. They had taken sick leave only to be seen later laughing and having a good time at a club. This even happened today, confirmed by reports from his trusted employees who saw them laughing when they got permission from him, just before Yin entered his room earlier. Jungkook found it hard to trust any employee claiming to be sick. But with Yin earlier, Jungkook felt like he had let his guard down. He couldn't think clearly as he was holding back his emotions at that moment and ultimately, Yin became the target of his anger. Damn it, how foolish of you, Jian Jungkook. Jungkook kicked the table in front of him, frustration evident as he ran his hands through his hair in dismay. Three days without Yin's presence changed Jungkook. He became frequently irritable and vague in his discontent. He easily got angry over the slightest mistake made by his employees. His mood was consistently sour. Even for some reason, he hadn't yet sought a new secretary to replace her. Deep down, he believed that Yin would come back to work at the office. But, of course, that didn't happen, because Yin had indeed resigned, not taken sick leave. The doorbell of Yin's apartment rang. The girl was sitting on the sofa watching her favorite webflix series. She hugged a bag of potato chips. Yin was wearing shorts paired with a tight white tank top, her hair tied up casually, the typical style of Yin when she was at her apartment. She wanted to relax a bit before getting busy looking for a job. Who could be visiting at this time of night? Yin glanced at the wall clock. It was 12 midnight. She wanted to check through the intercom, but it was broken and hadn't been fixed yet. Finally, Yin slowly opened the door. Yin was surprised when she opened the door and found Jungkook standing there. Jungkook smiled at her, his body swaying slightly. Sir, why are you here? Are you drunk? Yin caught a whiff of alcohol from his breath. Hey Yin, how are you? Have you recovered? Are you still sick? 